Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got another review for you. Today we're looking at a 3D printer from WeFun. Excited for this one. Let's get it unboxed. Here we have it guys. So this is all new to me, never used one of these so you'll have to bear with me. We'll go through it all together. Firstly, let's have a look what we've got in the packaging. We got plug, which plugs into the main brick there and that bit obviously plugs into the device. Then here we've got some 3D filament, obviously you need that to make stuff with. Now in this one we've got some all purpose glue, SD card, a USB-C dongle adapter. We've got some Allen keys in there, I believe that's another USB. We've got a nozzle needle that's used to clean the nozzles apparently. Like I said, all new to me guys. I'm going to check it out, it's going to be really cool because obviously a 3D printer can make little toys and things like that. And of course we've got the instruction manual which we're going to need. Just going to show you some information on the machine itself here. So you can pause the video if you want to read that. Some more information there if you want to read. Obviously this slot is where a memory card goes in. We've got some more filaments here. We've got a pink one, purple, yellow and orange. You also get a warranty card. So according to instructions, this part's called an extruder. Then this bit's a filament holder. We've got a screen here. Obviously, as I've already said, that's where the micro SD card goes. We've got a knob that you can press down and turn. Then here we have a USB socket and the power socket. Through the back here, you can see some of the components. Same as the front, so you've got your fan, hot end, proximity sensor. And this part here is your platform. And as mentioned here, hazardous moving parts, keep your fingers away. Before we do anything else, we've got to take this shell off here, off the shaft. But if you guys can see here, but we have the tube that's connected to this part where the fan is. Um, you've got to get the other end of that, and that has got to fit into here, like so. So this part was actually a USB with an adapter for the micro SD, which goes in the bottom there. So then you can connect it to your computer. So obviously with these things, you understand that you can download different codes for making different things. For the purpose of this video, that it already came with the micro SD card, we've plugged it into the computer to see what's on it. And as you can see here, we've got an anchor, an astronaut, cat, doll, dragon, fishbone, rabbit, there's all sorts on here, but it also tells you how long it takes for them to be made. Right, so we're gonna plug it in and turn it on. Obviously, connect that bit. That bit needs to go in your mains, in our case, UK. And this end goes in the top here. We've also got this bit on the cable. Let's turn it on. Screen lights up from WeFun. And we've got our menu, which we can use our knob to go through. So the first we're gonna go choose our language, which is English, load filament. So we'll show you how to do that next. So we've decided we're gonna give the dragon a go. We've got a filament here, which goes on our stand there. We've got to get the end of it and it's got to feed through here. But before that, we've got to cut it and sort of at an angle, otherwise it can get stuck like that. Right, so now we've got to get this filament through the hole goes all the way through the tube. You might be able to see it going through there. So on the screen, you've got lots of different options from Wi-Fi network to prepare control. But we've put the SD card in. So we're gonna put print from TF. And then there is a list of things that we can print. And we was gonna choose Dragon. So we're gonna click on that one. And now it's got to heat up apparently until 220 degrees, was it Liam? Yeah, and then we're going to press print. So it's got to heat first. You can see this is moving. going through the process of heating everything up. We're on the move again. And as you can see, printing is in progress and this one takes about an hour. So 
So I just have to mention that you've got the Polar Print Cloud app if you scan this and you've also got support from WeFun if you need it. As I said folks, this is the first time me using one of these so I wanted to show you in reality if, you know, if things go wrong. The reason they give you this glue is because of this because as you can see it's gone wrong here so it needs to be stuck. So if you run into a problem like this where it's gone wrong you can stop it and then you can rub the glue on this plate. So that's what we're going to do and we're going to start it again. The glue's on and off it goes again. We're getting there, look at that, it's cool. Just want to mention as well, this is the Wii Fun Tina 2 Plus and it recommends that you only use the Wii Builder for this model. So you can get this program for Mac, Linux and of course Windows which this is using right now. It does come pre-installed on this SD card um, but you can download the updates etc. But I suppose with this cool thing you could sort of make whatever you like if you can write if you can find the schematics or um, the files and within reason because you've got to uh, bear in mind the size of this so obviously you can get bigger 3D printers. Oh, you can shrink it in some stuff. Yeah things like that but um, kids will find it fun. What do you think to it Liam? Do you think it's pretty cool? It's just cooling down now so I will just say a little few things about their uh, device itself. It's a compact desktop design for seamless integration for any workspace. The nozzle heating temperature reaches an impressive 245 degrees. Generous size of 100 by 105 and 100 millimeters. High temperature heated bed capable of reaching up to 80 degrees. Remarkable print speed and it's very sturdy. Now it's finished we're gonna get it out and to get it out you just lift this up, it's magnetic, and there we are. There is our dragon. Dragon, I wanted to say dinosaur, but look at that, that's pretty cool in it. So, as you can see, it worked better this time with having that glue down. So, as I said, if you download prep files for this Wii Fun Tina 2 Plus, you could make lots of little things that the kids are going to have fun with. And there's the finished product. Look at that, absolutely lovely. What do you think, Liam? Thumbs up from you? Yeah. Definitely, definitely recommend it. Yeah. So, there you go, guys. If this is something that you're looking for, then go ahead and click the link in the description. Grab yours for a decent price too. There we have it. 3D printing doesn't have to be complicated and too expensive. It can be fun and easy. Thanks for watching.